So let's talk about parametric equation and curves. All right. Uh, at times, a curve C cannot be described as a function, as y equal f of x. Why? Because if you draw a vertical line, then the curve will fail the vertical line test. So it won't be a function uh, in terms of uh, where the input is x or the argument is x. But we can express each of the coordinates, x and y, along the curve as a function of a third variable. And we can call it T or R or what not. For instance, if you are thinking about a particle that are traveling across a certain path, okay? So let's say on the XY coordinate system, you have a particle sitting right here, okay? And now this particle starts traveling somewhere and and then it curves around like so and, tr and end up being here. So the particle is traveling along this path, okay, where this is the initial point and this is the final point. Now, each point along this path can be determined by the coordinate x, y. So if I pick up a point at random, let's say right here, this has x and y. Okay, and x and y is moving along the path with the particle. So although this is not this curve, uh, let's say this is c, but c, the curve c, we cannot write it as y equal f of x again because it failed the vertical line test. But each coordinate x and y is changing. In this case, because we are talking about traveling at time, let's say t equals t sub 0, the initial time, and when you get here t equals t sub f, the final time, then we can say that each coordinate is a function of time. So we're going to say in this case, x will be a function of t, and y will be another function. So we're going to write uh, x equal f of t and y equal g of t. And those are, uh, this curve becomes parametric curve and those equation x is equal to f of t and y equal g of t is are called uh, parametric equations okay so let's have a little uh, description here so let's write basically this story we're going to say that the curve c may fail the vertical line test Uh, so uh, we can note uh, express C in terms of as as uh, y equal f of x. Okay. However, the x coordinate. The x coordinate of C and the y coordinate, let's say instead of F, let's use the word N, okay? And the y coordinate in C uh, may, may be, may, uh, let's see, can be expressed. As a function, actually it's functions because we have two, one for x and one for b. So as functions of a third variable uh, and that third variable we'll call it is called parameter. 
or R or anything else. For example, T uh, can represent time. which is in line of this uh, story of a particle moving along a certain path, okay? So let's just add here to the figure uh, a particle is moving along a curve C. Okay, so this is the what we what I describe in this uh, illustration. So let's have a definition. Wow. We're going to say that suppose x and y are both variables of a, or both function of a third variable. Okay, suppose x and y are both functions of a third variable t uh, called a parameter Okay, then uh, the equations y, I'm sorry, x first, x equals f of t and y equals g of t, of t are called parametric equations uh, of a curve C And and the uh, over here C and the curve C is called a parametric curve. 